What is up and welcome back everyone. Today we'll be working on, well, the Forester again because that's kind of what we do in the winter till we get to the SCI. Anyways, I want to return it to its not former glory. There was no former glory. I just want to get it back to working condition. So we got a couple of things here and there that I want to do. Um, with that being said, those are going to be, I need to put new wipers on because um, we don't have wipers right now. So kind of need to put those on if we're driving in the snow. And then we also need to go ahead and detail the interior because, well, you know guys, we did that interior, um, it wasn't cleaned, so when everything was put in there, all the dust from sitting in, um, on the driveway for the last four months was all sitting there still, so I gotta go ahead and clean that, so we're gonna do that, and then uh, I kinda don't have a plate on this car, so that's the last thing, I just gotta toss the plate back on. So those are what, we get, what we're gonna be doing today, um, and then we'll stick a little edit in here so you guys can finally see the interior and kind of see how, what it looks like with the tint. So for that we'll roll the car outside in this beautiful golden hour sunlight and get some b-roll shots for you guys. Anyways, first thing I think is going to be tossing on the wipers. I haven't had a rear wiper in a long time so we'll um, have to find the parts for that again um, and put those on. So wipers first, plate, and then let's detail the interior and get that all done. I know I said we're gonna do these first, but we're actually gonna do this first because we're losing light, so I wanna get that edit um, shot before we lose all our light, so we're gonna go ahead and clean the interior. So, you know, classic invisible glass, some of my standard quick detailer, and then 303, and a little bit of armor roll. Um, if you guys are interested in my actual full process, um, there is a video that we actually filmed with the STI when we were daily driving it in the winter. Um, it's gonna be up there somewhere. And um, we'll also be cleaning the floor mats on the front because those didn't get cleaned last winter, I guess, because they're really dirty. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll also go ahead and vacuum anything that needs to be vacuumed and just give it a good interior clean so that we can go ahead and drive it. I think we'll start in the back just because it's going to be the easiest. Um, so really all we got to do is I'm going to 303 our panels that we painted um, in a video up here somewhere and then we're going to just kind of move this stuff around and I'm going to just take a vacuum and vacuum the floor even though I think it got vacuumed we'll just do it again to make sure and then 303 this plastic piece or actually I'll probably armor all this we'll see. But the back should be easy and then go ahead vacuum the front seats and um, armor all our plastic. Nothing with a headliner because, well, I guess I could vacuum it. I'll, I'll vacuum the headliner just to make sure it's clean. And then we'll move on to the front where we have to do all the dash and stuff as well as the seat, or not the seats, um, the floor mats. And I guess also back here again, I'll throw through this plastic panel because why not? Oh, and also win window cleaner on the uh, windows. <laughs> I swear, however many times I try to clean these door jams, they're always just dusty and dirty. It's impossible to get them clean. Like, I don't know if the seal isn't good. Also, there seems to be some paint here, but I don't know if the seals are good, not good or something on the actual door because it's always dusty in here, which I mean, isn't the worst, but it's kind of annoying, especially when you have to clean all down here. With the roof done, we are now done the um, rear seats, I think. So with that, I've done, I've vacuumed the seats. I've 3M, or 303, the, not 3M, 303'd, these pillars here, the um, C pillar plastic, and then also the doors. So we have that all done, and then I vacuumed the back of these seats and vacuumed the floor mats, and I took out the rubber floor mats to, vac or to clean. So now, we can move to the front, do the C-pillars and do the whole dash. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give the windows a wipe down with some invisible glass after because when I'm wiping down all the stuff here and wiping down the seals, I kind of get some stuff on the windows. So I might as well finish it up with those. And now with the front done, so everything has been wiped, including the A-pillar, the whole dash, and then I vacuumed the seats. We can now turn to the floor itself. Um, it's a little dirty and dusty, so like in these grooves right here, there's a lot of dirt. So I pulled the floor mats out, and I think we're gonna go ahead and wash those first, actually, because look at those, they're really dusty. So I'm just gonna scrub them down with some Fantastic and then let them dry. And when they're drying, we can go ahead and go back to the car and vacuum the floor under the seat and then this whole um, door well right here, and we should be kind of much cleaner than we were before. And then we can go ahead and actually put on those wipers in the plate. One clean floor mat. 
one dirty floor mat. So all I did is I took a bunch of Fantastic and sprayed it and then a little bit of dish soap and then took my little brush, scrubbed it and then rinsed it and then checked for any spots and scrubbed it again. So we'll go ahead do this one um, and then we will kind of let them dry and quickly do our passenger or rear um, seat ones just because, well, why not? And there we go, they're clean. They're not clean as they could be. Um, really, you need a pressure washer for these so they're not perfect. So we're gonna put them in like this. They're a lot cleaner than they were before because before they were actually pouring gravel. So let's go ahead, toss these in the car, and then wipe our windows down because I went ahead, I also vacuumed. Well, those were drying. I went ahead and vacuumed the floors. And the floors are now looking nice and clean, so that's good to go so we can put our um, mats back on there. I already put in the rear ones because they just took a little bit of scrubbing to get some dust off So yeah, let's toss the mats in let's wipe down our windows and then let's watch a sweet edit We're only doing the inside windows um, Because the outside's absolutely disgusting and it also has overspray on it. So we're gonna probably have to polish them so we can get that all over spray off so look out for that video and there we go we have the interior of the Forster all cleaned up after sitting for four to six months I don't even know at this point all cleaned up ready to go and we have one more thing the wipers and well two more things wipers and the plate but we're gonna do that after this little edit so you guys can see what of these last four months have um, done to the Forster including the headliner and the trim pieces so Catch you on the other side of that. And there we go. That's what six months of modifying the Forester interior looks like in a couple minute montage. Anyways, now back onto the wiper. So I'm doing pretty much what everyone's doing, standard Bosch wipers. I'm not gonna show you how to install them because there's one million of those on YouTube, so we're not gonna do that. Um, but just the standard Bosch wipers that everyone puts on. Um, the only thing I have a concern about is the rear one because the rear one uses this weird little arm with some mounting hardware which I conveniently lost, so we'll get to that bridge once, or we'll cross that bridge once we get to it. Anyways, I'm gonna toss these front ones on, should be super easy, just slide them over and click them on, and then we can get to the rear with the plate. If you didn't know on Subarus, there's two different sizes, um, which is interesting because I forgot which side goes which, or the long run, which one goes where, and then I realized this windshield's so old, it's got marks where the wiper sits, so it should be super easy to just toss them on there. And just like that, we have wipers back on the Forester. Now to the rear. So for the rear wiper, we have this, which is the arm, which has been off the car since I pretty much bought it. I took that off right away because I didn't have a wiper blade. Well, now we got a new wiper blade, so we're gonna put it back on. So we got that, and then we have, I had to look at pictures, but essentially there should be more than this. I believe there's a little piece that connects here that kind of covers it. Well, that was off the car, so all we have is this little nut here. So that's what we're gonna put on. Just bolt this on right here, 10 mil, 
and then that holds that on, and then we'll put the wiper blade on as the final hoorah. Hardest part about putting this on was deciding what position I wanted it. I think it's in the perfect position because there is this heating element here for the blade itself, so kind of wanted to line it up with that, but it moves a lot, so we'll put it on and then we'll test it. But with that being said, we can put it on now. I think it goes on this way. <laughs> we'll figure it out one handed. I think exactly like, nope, not exactly like that. There we go. Just like that. Oh, I definitely need to move it up one position because it's kind of hanging down, which isn't great. There we go. Now we have a rear wiper and a really badly tinted window. But anyways, <laughs> we're back and now it's just this rear plate, which I had to find the screws because this plate hasn't been on this car in a while. So I had to go find the screws. So really, plate, just two top screws, don't even use the bottom ones. Um, a long time ago, we went ahead and kind of covered up any rust spots with some paint. That's why it looks a little rough. Um, but that just means that it is protected and it won't scratch through when we're driving the car. So should be easy as that. There we go. So there we go, we have everything done on the Forester. We now have a rear windshield wiper, which is great. And remember when we did the headliner, we fixed the sprayer, so I actually now have a fully functional rear windshield, which is great. We now have a plate so I can drive it back on the road after six months or four months or whatever it is. And we have a fully detailed interior, which is great. And that means that when I drive it for this time, um, I'm not gonna be annoyed. Oh yeah, and also front wipers. But yeah, there we go. Also, I just noticed, because of the weight, squatting a little bit so we might have to do something about that I don't know what do you guys think about hmm lifting it maybe <laughs> lifting it with some new wheels and tires I don't know what kind of lift or what how high or all that kind of stuff I'm in the process of thinking about it and kind of researching it so if you guys have lifted foresters or if you know anything drop a comment below help me out guys Anyways, that is going to be it. So the Forester is now ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of a um, cinematic edit we had for the Forester. Just really showing off what we did over these last four months. Um, but there's going to probably be more of that. Um, I think maybe next video we might just go for a cruise. See how it handles with all that weight up top. But anyways, that is going to be it for today's video. So as always, peace out and stay humble.